Hello, my name is Dr. Anand and uh, welcome to my show. Now, I love 3D printing, I haven't taken algae impression for a long time, but the problem with 3D printing of models, dental models with SLA resin printing, is that they come out of the printer covered in resin and it's a multi step process to clean it all up before you can use it. Now, some of you may have seen my Mark I resin processor and it was good, but it wasn't great. And I've since iterated and prototyped and refined and come up with the Mark II units. And I'm going to show you about the Mark II curing tower today. It's really easy to use. You've got your on switch with an LED to let you know that it's on. And then once you switch it on, you've got your LEDs that flash to let you know that the unit is ready. Once they go out, the unit is ready. All you do is you get your models, pop them in, pop them in. It's a touchless device, so once the cage is in with the models, it will automatically start the sequence and then switch off and your lights are flashing to let you know that it's finished. Now I've developed this such that it's got two modes. You can either have a fast curing cycle or if you want, you can have an extended curing cycle. And you might want to use an extended curing cycle with resins that are going to go in the patient's mouth for instance. So in the extended cycle, again, same thing, pop it in and it takes a little bit longer. Now the really good thing about this is that if you stop midway through, pop it out and the unit switches off by itself. Resets, pop it back in and it starts again from scratch. So it's a nice safe device, you don't have to worry about it being left on all the time because the programming is such that it will never just leave the lights on, not like the UV curing units that you have to use a timer and all that sort of rubbish. You literally just pop your cage in with your model, activates, it ramps up slowly, not so that you've got a very slow cycle of curing, and then at the end of, tree, end of curing it ramps down again as well. Now these are just demo cycles which is why it's so quick. You know, curing cycles usually can be whatever you want. It can be programmed to have whatever custom curing cycles you want. So looking inside the unit, you can see why it's different from the other curing units on the market. It's because of the sheer number of LEDs that I've got going on in here. In here, there is about 50 watts of curing power, not like the uh, Anycubic curing station and wash and go stations, all of that, which has got a single strip of LEDs. This has got, well, there's almost five meters worth of LEDs in here. And you can see once the cage goes in, there's a sensor and it automatically starts the curing. And as soon as I lift it, it stops. Down again, and it starts. So thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope you found it interesting and um, happy printing.